They look like a normal family, doing normal things, kicking off a normal day. But the Beryls are a unique family. You see, all three kids have a diagnosis of autism. And the two girls, Grace and Millie, have what's known as Asperger's syndrome, or high-functioning autism. Tom, how is it different from autism? With um, Asperger's, it's very much around the social communication, that natural ability that lots of people have to start a conversation. When we're having a conversation, to give and take, that very easy, natural social stuff is very difficult. Yeah. Maintaining friendships over time. And I think also having um, an ability to to share interests beyond your own interests, and then you don't get that same social connection. It's one of the most commonly diagnosed conditions in, in children, isn't it, at the moment? That's right. Best estimates, based on lots of different figures, around one in a hundred children. So why is such a common diagnosis now? I think people have looked at numbers of explanations for that. One of the ones really very much is around that there's greater awareness and understanding. The more we talk about it, the more people recognise it. Oh, okay. Kate, okay, thanks for sharing your story with us. <laughs> Tell us how it felt when that first diagnosis of Asperger's came through. Was it a surprise to you? Um, I guess in some ways it was. Uh, the girls weren't diagnosed until um, older, being older. Often children are diagnosed at around three. Um, but I think with girls, it's not as evident, perhaps. So while it was a surprise, it wasn't a shock, and I guess it gave us direction about uh, which way we were going to go with the girls and how we could best support them. Life's too short to even care at all. Whoa. What's the toughest part about this diagnosis and the condition you're living with? It's kind of explaining, I think, for me, explaining to people how like and why it happens like a lot of people when I tell them they're just kind of like oh okay I didn't really notice but like what what's difficult for you and I find it even difficult just to explain <laughs> that you know One more spoon of cough syrup now. tell me the things you're good at well I really like singing singing's cool I'm coming up now coming up now what about you Millie um well I like writing just because I get to kind of build up this character from the ground and I get to like mold them and kind of make this whole new person that doesn't exist otherwise and kind of bring it to life but I don't have to physically do it in a way. Despite the challenges the Beryl family copes really well so what can we learn from that? I think one of the key things is that we can't view Asperger's purely as a disability. Yeah. You know, when we talk to young people about their own diagnosis, we talk often about their positive characteristics, their strengths and their capabilities. And often there's many, many ones that you can count. And that perhaps the Asperger part is only one small part of their overall personality and that there needn't be a barrier in their life. What's your advice to other families who are starting their journey with this? Each child is very, very different and I think you have to pay special attention to the needs of your own particular child. I know with our daughters, while they both have a diagnosis, they are very different kids. Um, and I think that can't be lost. You have to identify them as individuals and identify their needs and maybe seek support through support networks, online groups, other parents in particular, I think, um, are the, perhaps the best resource of all. Our ability to understand the way that people on the spectrum perhaps see the world a little bit differently, the way their brains maybe are wired a bit differently, that mean they experience the world differently. If we can understand that, then we can support them, I think, to have those great outcomes that we're all after. Life's too short to even care at all. What would you say to other people, younger people who've been diagnosed and have this journey ahead of them? What's your advice? Um, for me, just to take it on as it goes. 